Hi viewers, welcome back to Tech again. In this session, I will cover target graphs. Target graphs are basically used to compare your actuals with the target. Here, I have a set of values. In column B, I have the week numbers. And in column C, I have a target. In column D, I have the sales percentage. So, you can see from this table that in few weeks, we can see the targets are not achieved. And going further ahead, you can see in few weeks, we can see the targets are being achieved. So, if you want to present this information into a graph, you will come across something like this which is a basic column graph with a trend line so from here you can understand that you have a target line that is kept in 80 and you can see some bra bars are gone ahead the 80 percent and some are below 80% but this graph is very much less visually appealing when you compare with the graph here both are the same graph but it is represented in a more interesting and visually appealing way here from this graph you can see that your actuals are at 45 and you are behind by 35% and your actual target is at 80 also here you can see that your target is at 80 and your actual is at 83 and you are ahead by 3% from the target so these graphs are more visually appealing and very much quick understandable to the viewers compared to the previous one so I will show you today how to create this graph I hover back to the data table so the first step is to create a basic column graph with your target percentage so I select the week numbers as well as the target I go to insert I go to the column I select the first clustered column option also please remember that this Excel is installed in MacBook this is Excel 2016 which is installed in MacBook Pro so but even it's in Microsoft the procedure is quite similar and same so here I create my basic column graph now I convert these bars into a scattered diagram so I select on the bar I right click I go to the change chart type I select XY scatter I select the first option now you can see your bars are changed to a scatter now the next step what I'm going to do is I hover back to our required graph you can see this dash lines in fact lines which make the difference between your how much you are below the target and how much you are above the target so I need to create these lines for that all you need to do is go to the insert option Go to the shapes, select the lines, first one, and simply draw a basic line. And make sure you format the line, make it more thick. So, we can write a little more, make it straight also. Okay 
Now you have your line ready and you need to replace these scatter spots with line. So all you need to do is Command C or Control C in Microsoft. Select on your scatter and no need and Control V or Command V. So you can see all your dots has been replaced with lines now. Now the next step. The next step is to calculate these values that is how much percentage is the you're below the target value here 35 here it is 29 so you need to calculate these values for that you add a header target below and you can use a formula here and that will bring you how much is your how much is the sales that is below the target and it will replace all the values with zeros which are above the target this can be done using a max function so equal to max target minus actual comma zero see what happens now first of all convert these values into percentage now you can see all the values which are above 83 or above 80 sorry are calculated with zeros and all other values which are below the 80 percent has calculated with the how much value it is below 80 in fact the target value so now you have you can do the same for the target below above so target above you will use the same max function but you subtract now from sales to the target return with zero close again convert this values into percentage align it now you can see all the values which are below the target are returned with zeros and all the values which are where we have achieved the all achieved the sales are returned with the how much percentage which is above the target value now you need to bring this target below to the graph so all you need to do is just copy Control C, select your graph, Control V or Command V. You can see it has been sp spotted as a scattered graph. So you replace, you select the uh, scatters, you right click, change chart type. In column, select the second one that's a stacked column. okay and now the next step is to <coughs> bring back the values uh, in fact uh, before bringing this value in we need to make sure you bring the sales value first so you select the sales value you copy you control V you control V on the graph now you convert your scattered spot into into a stacked column after bringing the sales value into the graph then you go for the target below value you select it control you see and control V now you can see you can see it is again replaced just uh, it is showing as scatter support So you can change the color in fact for more 
clarity you can see the sports so you again do the same you right click change chart type again you go to column stacked column now you, you replace the color you want this color to be in fact gray and you want this one which is a short false to be shown in red now this next step is to create a dummy target line again so you select your whole your weeks and percentage control C you come back to the graph you put control V you can see your 80 percent in again a scatter sport has been appeared but you need to make sure that these sports lie in the secondary axis so you double click on the sport you select to the secondary axis now you can see the scales of the primary and the scales in the secondary are not matching so you double click on the secondary scale make the maximum bounding to 1 that is 100 percent now you can see that scatters has gone back to 80 percent and your sports scales are showing at the same 100 percent now you select the sport again you right click you go to the change chart option you go to the column again you take the stacked column option now what you need to do is you need to make you need to hide out this dummy 80 percent so what you need to do you double click on the graph you go to the color option in the fill option make it no fill so make sure there is no border lines no it's already okay now you are at the last stage to bring the target above values to the graph so you select the values command c go to the graph put control v you can see again the scatter has been appeared now you double click on the graph and you make sure this is in the secondary axis then you again convert convert the graph you change it to column graph into stacked columns and you can see your graph is almost ready now so you double click on the graph and change your color change the color to green so now you can put the labeling make sure you know that you have a, you have a graph your dummy graph that is at 80 percent which is hidden here so you double click this graph you adjust the gap width or you can adjust the gap width in fact let me see yeah gap width reduce it now you can see your graph below so you can again click on your graphs Yeah. and right click and you can give your target values like graph values also same here you select below right click add data labels and you can you have to remove these percentages first remove these values And you select on the graph that is green and you right click and you give the data labels now you double click on the center adjust the gap again and make sure it is okay so this is the way to create a target graph which is very much visually appealing and easily understandable to the viewers compared to the normal excel standard graphs hope you guys enjoyed my video thanks for watching 
please to subscribe for my channel for more videos. See you next time. Bye-bye.